my name is Margaret and this is Recipe Amateur Investigator again. Today we're going to be doing a cheese enchilada. It's by Little Luna. Just to let you know. So the first thing we're going to get started, I'm going to get my Curtis Stone cookware. We're going to cook it here. If you don't have one of these, you're more than happy to do it over your stove, but I'm just going to do it right in here. So let's get our pajamas on ladies, our gentlemen, and Let's get started in cooking these great enchilada. And this is a five star uh, recipe too. So you're gonna turn on your skillet to about medium heat. The first thing you're gonna do is add in two, stable, two tablespoons of oil. It's getting hot already. This thing works quickly. Then you're gonna get on your flour, you're gonna get four tablespoons of flour. It's kind of going to look clumpy, so you just stir it in low from medium heat. And then you're going to start adding everything else in. The next thing we're going to be adding is our, our salt. Our salt is going to be one half of a tablespoon. Put that in. We're going to add three tablespoons of chili powder. We're going to add in oregano. I know, silly, huh? Oregano in enchilada sauce. I thought the same thing. So we're going to add in one fourth. Next, we're going to add in our um, cumin. And this is going to be a half of a tablespoon. And then your garlic powder is going to be one half of a tablespoon as well. And then you're just going to put it in and see how it gets kind of clumpy? That's fine. That's what it's supposed to look like. So then you're gonna get two cups of vegetable, I mean two cups of chicken broth, not vegetable oil, two cups of chicken broth. Pour it in, two cups of chicken broth. And then you're going to stir it until all the lumps come off, and it's going to get thick. And this is kind of, this is the sauce that we're making today to make the cheese enchiladas. Now, if you want to do chicken, you can do chicken as well. Just have your chicken cooked and already um, slice or shred it, however you want your chicken in there. But we're going to do cheese enchiladas. And while this is just getting a little bit of thick, I just want to add in the rest of that little season that I have in there. While this is getting thick, I got my tortillas. You're going to get a pan. When you pan, when you get a pan, go ahead and spray it. Make sure it's sprayed and grease any way you want. See how it's getting thick and bubbly, which is good. Let me lower it. And I got my cheese. Perfect. And let's just get this a little thick. And I just have a question to ask you. When you drink your margaritas, do you like it with salt on or salt off? I do not like salt on my margaritas. But do you like the regular margaritas or strawberry margaritas? That is my question to ask you. So now this is getting really good. It's done. I'm going to turn it off. See how nice and thick it looks? Smells really good. Smells spicy. Okay. And what you're going to do is really easy. The next thing you're going to do is just get your tortilla. Don't put them all in. I made that mistake and they rip and they tear. They get soggy. So you're just going to get your tortilla. Kind of dip it on both sides. Put it in your pan. Put the cheese and roll. And when you're rolling, make sure the face is down. I'll do one more because I already have some already made. You just again, you put it in the sauce, put it in your pan, get your cheese, and then you just roll until your pan is completely full. You're going to set the temperature in your oven to 350. You're going to bake for 20, 25 minutes. Then once you have them all rolled, you're going to put some of the cheese and some of the rest of the sauce on top of it. 
the enchilada sauce on top of it. So let me go get the ones I already have made and I'll show it to you. I made a lot. So this is what it looks like. It comes out like this, really yummy. And then put it here. And then I I made an extra batch because what I do is make a batch and a half. So this way we can have some for later. And this is my other one. And get my spatula. Look how cheesy that is. See how pretty that looks? And then some people like tomatoes on top of their enchilada. I like to have some avocados. So let me get put some avocados on top. A couple of avocados. And then I also, I didn't have time to make um, rice, so I got this cilento rice, which is really good. You should try it. And I have it right here. Oh my gosh, this really smells good because it has that cilantro with the lime. And let's just try it. You see how pretty it looks? See how the cheesy and the, look how soft it looks. Look at that. It's so soft. Take a bite. Let me get it out. Mmm. These are better from, from a, these are better here that you can get from a restaurant. And then you can freeze your enchiladas up to two to three months as well. Would follow me on Facebook at Recipe Amateur Investigator or on the YouTube channel. I am going to put the recipe attached to it so you can follow it. And I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as my family. And again, thank you for coming into my kitchen. Bye.